Hello friends, Pastor Dave here for our daily devotional, Something Deeper. Thanks for joining me on this Tuesday, this Hurricane Preparation Day. It's kind of a weird day, isn't it? It seems like everything's shutting down now in preparation for Hurricane Adalia. Fortunately, it doesn't seem like Hurricane Adalia is going to affect us as much as some of the recent eye hurricanes in the past few years. Uh, It seems like it's going up north. Hopefully, it's going to hit some um, unpopulated area. But they say it could be a Category 3 or 4 by the time it hits. But I hope you're safe. I hope you're feeling comfortable. And I thought we could talk about God's protection today on Something Deeper. Somebody said that uh, waiting for a hurricane to hit is like being stalked by a turtle. I guess it's a good thing that you get a lot of preparation time before the hurricane. And as soon as the hurricane gets close, it seems like everybody goes to the gas station. Jill and I, we got our cars gassed up, so if we need to drive around without a gas station open, we can do that for a little while. But I think it's also interesting that when you turn on the news... Whenever there's a hurricane within three or 400 miles, they always use a terminology they never use any other time. Hunker down. You know, make your preparations, get everything done, and then just go home and hunker down. I don't know, maybe up north they use that for, for, hurricane, for um, blizzards and stuff, but around here, the only time I ever hear it is during hurricane season when there's a hurricane offshore. My online dictionary says to hunker down is to make yourself comfortable in a place or situation or to prepare to stay in a place or position for a long time, usually in order to achieve something or for protection. And we know in this case, this is protection. They say, get all your preparations done and then hide out in your house until the wind has died down and the rains have died down and the flooding has gone away and then you can come out and be safe. But I thought about that when we were getting ready, that God says we can hunker down with him. Do you remember the story of David and how he went to work for King Saul? And he was successful. He was a great musician. He was a great general for his army. But Saul got jealous. And rather than being appreciative of a loyal, competent very accomplished servant. He got jealous and tried to kill David. David eventually had to run away, and Saul chased him down with his army, trying to kill him. And there was one day David was hiding out with his uh, ragtag band of soldiers, and they went out and hid in a cave. And David must have picked up a pen and started writing because he wrote this psalm while hiding from Saul in a cave. Psalm 57 one through three. Have mercy on me, my God. Have mercy on me. For in you I take refuge. I will take refuge in the shadow of your wings until the disaster has passed. I cry cry out to God most high, to God who vindicates me. He sends from heaven and saves me, rebuking those who hotly pursue me. God sends forth his love, and his faithfulness. Isn't it wonderful to know that you can take refuge in God in the shadow of his wings? David, you know, was a shepherd for his early life, and he probably saw it many times how a bird would mantle. They call it mantling when a bird spreads her wings and and keeps her chicks underneath her wings just protecting them from any danger. And he said, I'm going to take take refuge in the shadow of your wings until the disaster has passed. When we are worried about a storm that's coming, when we're worried about people who may have something against us, uh, we can always turn to God and say, God, I'm going to take refuge in you. And And David was so trusting of God, he said, God sends forth his love and his faithfulness. It's wonderful to know that we can hunker down in the shelter of God's wings 
And in his love and faithfulness, he's going to protect us. I love how Reverend Hamill used to say, we don't know what the future holds, but we know who holds the future. And so I can trust God knowing that I don't know what's going to happen today or tomorrow, but I know one thing. I've got a God who watches over me, and that's enough. Thank you, Father, for protecting us. And thank you, Lord, for protecting those that are in in the path of this storm. We pray, Lord, that you'd watch over them. Uh, Watch over all of us, Father. Whatever's going on in our lives today, I pray that we would be able to trust you. In the name of Christ, we pray. Amen. God bless you all. I love you all. Stay safe, and we'll see you tomorrow, Lord willing.